much more than that. It is, in fact, a tremendous story of faith and dedication. And understanding a little of this history helps us to understand more about the early history of the Leinbach family, their activities, and their travels. Without going too deeply into a dry history lesson, I'd like to outline a little bit of this history, because it enriches our understanding of Johannes Leinbach and his family. For such heretical practices as too long to, to go into. Uh, I, I love this thing. Uh, the garrison did uh, drawings of every, I guess what you might call Moravian establishment in, uh, in think a grandson. And that grandson, you know, who was described as Potter and might have made trials <laughs> as well. I think he sold the property in 1786. So, so far as, as we oh, well, no, I'm trying to see that. I can see right through <laughs> you. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, he was born in 1746. Um, if it were not raining today, I would have brought along some flour because if you're trying to read old tombstones, take along a bag of flour and a brush. A uh, soft brush, not a wire brush. And um, all you have to do is take handfuls of flour. You can't be, uh, you can't be uh, stingy with the flour, but and just take it in your hand and pat it over and rub it all over the stone. And the white flour um, from this place, and it says he was um, he was born of um, holy or or Christ-like parents. And 1746 to 1817, he's the one that had three wives. This is his third wife. Uh, Maria Magdalena Hartman. Uh, but as I was saying, um, Henry, John Henry, one of whose who farm is next to the one we're going to choose today. <laughs> one of the three brothers who came over. Uh, wherever Tyler is, I think John and Louisa Keller are your ancestors. Oh, really? The new church yeah. instead of the old. A very large old cemetery.
ladies from the DAR who are very active in the it's, I think she keeps it a secret around here. Control field trips I've been on. It's what I call a firing line. The folks who really want to take... The, uh, the little house that people tend to want to see is behind the big house. The folks up top was uh, a log structure that was one large open area where hay was kept. Uh, the previous... This is one of the stone houses that's built on the farm. Hey, this is, they say this is a rich valley, but it looks like a lot of hills to me. The original. The original house. It's behind this new one here. The Leanbach original, as it stands in 1997. This farmland still looks hilly to me. They say it's a fertile valley, but there's a creek right here in front of me. The other side of the house. I can see why they left Pennsylvania. Still loaded. Oh, I wasn't looking through the viewfinder. <laughs> Makes a big difference. Oh, this is the backup model. There's a ditch behind you. Where is this thing? Is there a cliff or what? Um, is that okay? That was just a still. <laughs> oh, that one more. Oh, you're Thank you very much. Can you grab one more? Oh, I guess so, sure. It zooms in or zooms out. Uh, got it? Gotta go back. I think we should have... Uh... Should have made him pay to get the cameras back after all the <laughs> I don't know. Is this, is this one that will zoom in or Okay, 
this one. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. You. I, don't think, mine. I hope they turn out. Here's a... Oh, they all come out. <laughs> Inside, second floor. I can't take the first because it's too dark down there. This is the sides of the windows are about a foot thick of rock. And there is a door. There is a door that goes up to a loft. The people have storage stuff here like the flag and a few other things. Steps are totally rock. The first floor, and there's the floor. There's the fireplace and the oven. Indoor plumbing, water running through the end of the house from a spring. And there's rocks at the bottom of this spring, I don't know why. If somebody did, maybe we can pass pictures around. There, there might be one more opportunity a little further down. <laughs>